It's because our university encourages students to find solutions. Because we want to be an attractive uh, and a, a healthy city. We know the, the classical aspects of electrification. Uh, we know we have electric cars, we have electric bikes, but Rotterdam is much, going much further. So we also have the port of Rotterdam, which is a really big industry hub. Um, key in, in the economy as well and they're looking much further they go to energy efficiency parts where we can put solar energy where we can put uh, heat pumps we do things better in Rotterdam in our city we have solar panels on the roofs We don't have gas, so we don't have use gas also to heat up the, the station we use uh, hot water from, uh, from the earth, about 100 meters there is a uh, well, and we pump up water to heat up the station. I think electrifying the transport makes a huge difference to clean air and, and quietness and uh, an attractive city. We didn't want to breathe dirty air. I was actually born here. And I lived along this road, um, and I was born in the 50s, so it's quite a while. Uh, but then, at that time, there were hardly any cars. So this is this street where we are standing now, above the tunnel, is one of the most dirtiest uh, streets in Rotterdam. So if we can electrify or or change our way of, of um, moving or, or transport, it will become healthier for all the people. We really uh, like to uh, clean the city. Uh, there was so much traffic. Boats coming in and boats coming out. And what you see is that now they're trying to get it cleaner because not only is this the biggest port, but it's also the biggest polluter. And that's why um, I think um, in the years, and I lived here for 70 years, I see a really a transformation. So they, ha they, they want to clean up. Here on the left side for me, you see a, an office space on floating on water, completely built sustainable, green roof, solar panels on the other side, heat pumps, all the aspects are there. A floating office, who could imagine that?